Welcome back everyone. It's been so long since I made like a top free iOS game thing and I think the last one I made was probably either in 2018 or more likely I think it was in 2017 and it's been a very very long time and I don't really play too many iOS games to be honest but I want to make the same video for iOS and Android. Now a lot of these games are probably in the Android App Store and the Google Play Store as well but I'm mostly going to be looking at these through the iOS app store. Now these are all completely free and they all range from like really low megabyte apps to all the way to like gigabyte apps. So these are pretty big, pretty small, some of them. And I'm sure most of them you probably heard, but there might be a couple that you haven't seen yet. And I have exactly 10. So these are probably the top 10, but again, these are the ones that I saw that are probably the better ones. If you guys have any recommendations or anything, let me know in the comment section below and I can add them in another video. But these will all also be linked down in the description below so you can download them from here and so you don't have to go search them up every single time. I need to get a lot better at that. But the first app and the first game we're going to be starting off with is going to be Snake vs. Blocks. Now this is a quick casual game. It's a game that I literally play all the time and I'm sure a lot of you guys have already probably heard about it. It's one that's pretty popular and what it basically is is just a, it's like a casual game. It's like a doodle jump type of game. But the goal of the game is to get as far as possible and and really one thing I like about it is that it's so smooth and it's so seamless and I wish they these guys were paying me to say these things. <laughs> I'm not getting paid by anybody for, at all but if you're a game company and you want to sponsor an app please let me know. <laughs> but the game is really really nice and if you're in a pinch that you can go and quickly like chop out a game here and there it's a very low megabyte game too like it does not require that much space in your phone and it's not graphically intensive or anything like that so if you even own like an iPhone 6 it should be able to run it perfectly fine. I ran it on my iPhone 6 before and it was perfectly good so Snake vs. Blocks is a really good game. They have versus they have levels that you can play against the CPU and stuff and it's a really good little game if you want to pass the time. I play this game from like minutes all the way to like half an hour sometimes the first time I downloaded it and it's a very very good game at the end of the day so that one is Snake vs. Blocks and funny enough almost in every single one of my videos that I have like a review of a phone or something I almost always present this app and present this game in that like just as a gameplay footage which is so funny. <laughs> So that one is Snake vs. Blocks. Now this next one is called Brawl Stars and I'm pretty sure you guys all know what it is. It's super super popular and this is another one of those games that's pretty big so make sure you have some space saved on your phone before you go and download this one. And just on the Google Play Store itself it has like millions and millions of reviews. This game is super popular and the best way I can explain it is that it's kind of like Fortnite but just in a 2D version or like a bird's eye view version. It's definitely not as like crazy and intense as Fortnite or anything like that but it's kind of up there and I'll talk about Fortnite in a second too but pretty much what this is is that you're basically on teams I think there's a couple different ways of going about it but you can either be on solo or duo now for the first time I was doing it I was on teams but you can also be on you know your own solo route and basically your goal is to collect all these gems and collect everything like that and earn stars and all that crazy stuff and upgrade your characters upgrade the guns and all that and basically just rank the highest and the one thing I like about this is that the graphics on this game are actually pretty decent like it's not like a bad graphically intensive game like it's not like snake versus blocks that's like pretty like you know pretty basic this game actually looks pretty good and you can upgrade your characters change characters different things like that I think you can do skins and one thing I really do like about this is that it reminds me so much of Bloom's Tower Defense which is one of my favorite 2D games and favorite bot games so <laughs> Brawl Stars is definitely up there I would recommend you guys to download it like I said it's kind of pretty big you know it does require a little bit of storage but at the end of the day I think it's definitely worth it for sure it's a free game too so you really have nothing to lose now the next one is called Soul Knight and it's funny it's not Fortnite it's Soul Knight and what's cool about this is that honestly it's kind of the same thing as Brawl Stars but not really like it's kind of like you know one of those OG like Zelda games I think there's a term for these but I kind of forgot what it is and pretty much what it is is that you just kind of have to combat these levels and combat these levels and beat these levels and upgrade your weapons get new weapons different things like that it's pretty much like an OG Zelda game at the end of the day but it's completely free that's really cool there's also multiplayer sections in this game too so you can actually go and play up to four people and beat them and all that stuff which is really really cool and what's really cool is that they randomly generate the dungeon worlds so you have a new experience every single time and I read that straight from their thing so if it sounds like it's a you know a script or whatever I read that straight from their thing and I think that's really really cool you can just go and play this game for an endless amount of times and if you're really into it you can get a different experience with it every single time but there's honestly not a lot of games out there that are like that so that's a humongous thing for this game and again this one is Soul Knight now the next one is a one that you guys probably already know I mean this one is played everywhere this one is called Asphalt 
Fall 8. And what's cool about this one is that there's a lot of games out there. There's a lot of racing games and everything. But the Asphalt series has always been very, very good. I like this game series a lot. And they bring so many cool features and so many cool gameplay. The games look really, really great. And it's completely free, which is really cool. Now, there's always paid sections within all these free games. So if you want, you can go and upgrade your things faster or whatever if you pay for it. But honestly, at the end of the day, for a completely free racing game, it's so good. Real Racing 3 is also up there as well, but I play that one all the time, so I'm not even going to mention it. But Asphalt 9 is in a tremendous game. I've played this game so many times. It's been on this channel so many times as well. So for sure, Asphalt 9 is definitely up there for one of the better games for sure. Now the next one is called Vainglory. And this is one that I didn't really know too much about, but I recently heard about it and I really wanted to recommend it to people. So what this is, is that it's pretty much, I don't know how to describe it. You could say it's one of those older like Zelda games. I don't know why every game reminds me of Zelda for some reason. And what this is, it's almost kind of like Brawl Stars as well. You pretty much have to go and upgrade your characters, get weapons, and defeat all these other villains and enemies and things like that. And it's cross-platform, so it's really cool. There's some multiplayer modes as well. And as you can see from the gameplay, it's a pretty, you know, intensive game for the most part. And what's really cool is that the game actually supports 120Hz frames per second. So if you have an iPad or something, like an iPad Pro, you'll be able to actually play that game at the 120fps, which is really, really cool. And it's a multiplayer game, and this is definitely one of the ones that I've seen that a lot of people recommend. I've never really played it too much up until now, so Vainglory, that one is really cool. Like, Again, link down in the description. The next one is called, you guys already know, Paper IO 2. Now, this is another pretty basic game, and this is one that if you just want to waste a couple minutes of your time, you have the capability of doing so with Paper IO 2. And I used to play this game on the browser, like on the web browser, and then I download it on my phone, and it's even more addicting on my phone than it is anywhere else. And what I can tell you is, is that for sure at the end of the day, when, if you have a couple minutes to spend, if you have like just like 10 minutes you can spare, playing a game like Paper IO 2 is a very, very cool one. You just have to go and see how big your circle can get, and you can try to go and take over the whole entire map. And that's really pretty much what Paper IO 2 is. And that's a humongous game that I like. Very small though in size. And the next one is called Polytopia. And it's actually the full name is The Battle of Polytopia or whatever. And it's one of those games that it's, I don't know the best way to describe it. It's kind of like Sim City. But it's pretty much you have a civilization and you have to try to grow it as big as possible and try to create as big of a civilization as you can. And you have people that come in. It's, it, you could say it's kind of like Clash of Clans. You have people coming in and trying to take your surroundings and your civilization and take it over and stuff. So you kind of have to go and keep your civilization going and feed your whatever and go from there. And I think it's a really beautiful looking game. It has like this whole pixel texture. I think it's a really cool looking game and it's actually a really beautiful game as well. I don't know if they have like a beautiful rewards for like app store games or anything, but this one should definitely be up there. This one looks like a really, really nice common game. It's not calm, but it's a really cute looking game. I think that's the best way I can describe it. So that one is the Battle of Polytopia. The next one you guys already know is Stack and it's a very, very low effort game. It's You don't have to be like super intense with it, but it's another one of those like casual games you can play on the side that doesn't require too much thought process into it. And pretty much what it is, you just have to try to get the highest score. You just have to, if you ever played those stack games before, like in an arcade or something, you just have to go and try to stack your platform as big as possible. Now, to, my high score has been about like 101, I think, or something like that. So if you have a score that's up there or you beat mine, let me know in the comment section below or hit me up on Twitter or something. But pretty much what it is, you just have to try to get as far as possible. And this is another one of those games that looks so beautiful. Beautiful. So if you're somewhere that you actually have to go and go and just try to stack your thing as far as possible. So again, that one is stack link down below. And the next one is called Nova Legacy, which I'm sure a lot of you guys already know what it's about. It's one of those games. It's another first person shooter. And what's a really cool thing about this is that it's completely free. Now it's a pretty big game, so it does require quite a bit of resources. But again, as long as you have a pretty capable phone with at least like 64 or 128 gigs, you should be good for the most part. And the graphics on this game are super intensive. They're so nice. And again, it's one of those games that you'll play and you'll feel like you're playing a console game or a paid game at the end of the day. And I've played so much. I've played this game so many times with this channel. If you've seen any of my videos, you've probably seen this before. So that one is Nova Legacy, one of my favorite games for sure. Now, the last thing I'm going to hit on, you guys already know this one as well. This one is called Asphalt 9, which is the successor to Asphalt 8. And it's pretty much going around on that same exact thing, playing those games and just trying to win those races and upgrading your cars and everything. And again, this is one of the coolest things that this game manufacturer, I think Gamelot, was able to do. They made these free games and they're really timeless. These games have been out for a very long time. Asphalt 9, not so much, but I've seen all these Asphalt series and they're completely free, but they make a lot of their money just straight for people 
upgrading their services and stuff like that. So that one has Asphalt 9 and again, a link down below. And those are my 10 and maybe more games that I mentioned, best free iOS games that I know of right now. They range from again, casual games to super intensive games. If you have any other games or anything like that, that you've played before, that you like, that you don't like, whatever, let me know in the comment section below so I can make an updated video hopefully sometime and we can go from there. But that's pretty much it. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section as well. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count, so it means so much if you guys can hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my second channel. All those things are linked down below. I'd really appreciate it if you guys could check it out. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.